Hi, I'm Dr. Madan Kumar Beje, Chief Hair Transplant Surgeon practicing at VTRA Hair and Skin Clinic. Today, I'll be discussing on post-operative measures. The first important after finishing the transplantation will be giving the one cap will be there and uh, one bandage will be there. There is uh, one uh, post-operative instructions sheet will be there and surgical caps and under pads, shampoos, ointments and also medications and saline. I'll give you step by step what are the cases should be taken after hair transplantation. Once you go home, no need of this cap. You have to remove the cap from back side so that it should not touch your recipient side. Don't touch this recipient area for next 7 days. If you are coming for any emergency purpose outside, tear the surgical cap front and back and you have to wear so that it should not adhere your scalp. Second is, you have to take the saline, normal saline and uh, you have to take the syringe so it's both are sterile and we you have to make the small hole here after making hole bend your head and then normal saline should be sprayed like this so that it will keep the graft in moist state you have to do this procedure every half an hour so we will be putting on bandage for your donor area and once you go home so it has to stay for 24 hours like this and uh, while sleeping you have to sleep in this position most of the time try to avoid the sights okay and sleep straight only and don't touch this recipient area so before removing the bandage you have to wash your hand with Dettol hand wash properly and take this bandage slowly from sides okay after removing the bandage, you have to take Johnson's baby shampoo and bislery water. So you have to take the things and you have to wash in a circular pattern with your hands only. So all the crust and scab whatever which forms on the wood will be removed. After removing, you have to apply two important creams. One is the fast healing one Regen D. It's a human epidermal growth factors. You have to apply on it so it heals very fast then on top of it you have to take in the finger only you have to apply the antibiotic ointment on the top of it okay this is the donor area care and uh, you have to do at four o'clock and night nine o'clock no need to wash the donor area again just wash your hand with data land wash take the ointment keep applying in the night at nine o'clock every day one time wash three time application of ointment on the donor area is very important so this is two important one one is recipient area one is donor area care you have to avoid any physical activity or strenuous activity for next seven days and sleep you should sleep in a straight pattern as i told you like this so before sleeping you have to use this under pad just to avoid oozing or blood tinged anything so you have to open the under under pad like this and so you have put it on the pillow and sleep straight like this take rest for next seven days avoid sun exposure pollution exposure for next seven days if at all emergency you use the surgical cap and you can go outside and you have to take the following four tablets one of the important tablet is first is gastric tablet so you have to take morning and night time before food for next five days so that uh, your gastritis or any stomach burning will come down next is antibiotic so you have to take antibiotic morning and night time after food for next five days and uh, painkiller morning and night time for next five days to control your pain and one more is swelling tablet swelling tablet has to be taken in a tapered manner will be giving the instructions in the sheet according to that you have to follow the tablet this has to be taken after food only it should not be taken before food only before food is antacids rest all should be after food this is mainly for swelling purpose few people see the swelling majority of our people they will not see the swelling but if you develop any swelling or anything just make sure that you have to do like this so thereby you will be diverting the swelling to the sides of your forehead you'll be avoiding the swelling to come on your face 
there are important signs and symptoms you should be aware of it if any of your following things are there you have to immediately report to the clinic first one is any uh, bleeding or anything is there just report to the clinic and the small blood tinge oozing is common nothing to worry for that first important any severe pain or anything is there you have to report to the clinic if you take painkiller or anything it will be avoidable nothing to worry much on that if any difficulty in breathing or palpitation or anything is there you have to report to the clinic and doctor and it has to be addressed on immediate basis and if any infections or pus oozing anything on the sides has to be informed to the doctor or clinic and any uh, rashes in the body or allergy to any medications has to be report to the clinic any un uncommon signs if you feel you have to be in touch with doctor and clinic post operative care is very crucial to get the better results always follow the hair transplant surgeon instructions be in touch with hair transplant surgeon and clinic for next 7 days to 1 month thank you